Republicans were going against Biden on. He would be a socialist. You take your guns away. They don't even know what socialist means. <laughs> no, no, no one. Just said it just, sounds good. Just sounds hot on this hot very word. nice animated video word. that teaches them. We need to somehow <laughs> share it. <laughs> Does it have a little bouncing ball that uh, even a child can learn? And it's no, it, as little cartoon people, like, this is a communist. Is it from this Schoolhouse Rock? This is a capitalist. This is socialism middle. Most Americans are democratic socialists. They're in the middle of capitalism and socialism. They don't believe the government should take over all the companies, but they believe there should be a nice little social blanket for everybody to have a playing field on. Mm. Oh, but the capitalists don't care. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> It was nicely animated. We need we need this video. Yeah, I need, we, this, we need, I need this video. I'll, I'll I need send it, it to you guys. Good. Oh, yeah, I need we'll to have it. that. I need to have that in my archives. I need to give that to my uncle. You just spread it around. <laughs> just, just, yeah, I'm just gonna wipe. I'm gonna wipe. Play it on the news. <laughs> yes. All 10 p.m. news. Just Man. play it. <laughs> all right, it's that time again, guys. <laughs> Shit, <I'll> <laughs> education <laughs> piece. I sent it to TYT and had them play it all the time. But anyway, but like we have to we have to get through all that propaganda because that's what, they use those arguments as as like have you even heard Joe Biden speak about any of these things or have you even. Uh, like, like uh, checked out his policies because clearly Joe Biden wants to be a socialist. Well, if he was a socialist, then he would be a lot more popular than he is right now because a lot of people are pissed that Bernie that Bernie dropped out. Like, if he was, if he, he was had a funding, if, if no, it wasn't about the funding because Bernie, mm -hmm. no, he just didn't get the vote. That's yeah, all. Bernie was got had uh, fundraised more money than anybody on the DNC, no, and that was through. No, I'm I'm saying like, yeah, he didn't get the vote. But if he would have had the funding, he could have ran third party. No, that's that that goes that goes against everything Bernie stands for. Yeah, yeah. And then don't get me started, man. Like I love I love our Bernie wasn't pissed because Bernie would have won without it being close. And then Bernie would have pissed off every establishment person in like yeah. literally like the capitalistic society would have it shattered. Been a mess. Told y'all that's the only the person I trust. Bernie even said in front of the whole country, like. I take it a compliment, take it as a compliment that you think I'm a socialist. And then he went through the list of why he's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, have, but they don't know to, what socialism means. We don't have time to listen to that. <laughs> what? <laughs> and like gonna... Biden's policies, like even in his debates, he literally tells conservative people that he's going to be supporting what they want. And they're like, oh, no, he's lying. <laughs> I, I personally hate our two-party system, like, with a passion. Because it literally, it turns our country into a bad guys versus good guys mindset. No, and that's the thing. The, o the, the only thing that separates, like, there's more than one party. But people have taken teams. What? and No. I mean, I know that. People, people have taken teams, and people <laughs> have been very, um, very... Uh, they turn it into like a cultural thing where you basically you pick a side and the people who run in those other parties don't have the funding to back them to appear on things like news stations doing campaign runs. Like if they had that and they were able to be more well known. You could probably no. I mean, have but, a, I mean, I we don't disagree with that. Yeah, well, see, I don't disagree with that, but that's all like up in the airs. Like, if they could have, would have, should have. Like, the problem is that Republicans and Democrats own the media. Yeah. So the people and so when, when it Even comes to making this another option, nobody would know that they had it. Yeah. Like you would have to be on like literally the most in demand independent media sources. I didn't find out about Joe Jorgensen until two days before the election. Yeah. It's, there's, there's no in order for in order for there to be multiple parties and multiple opinions to actually make a ballot is going to literally have to come with dismantling the two party system and other parties getting in power. This and so I when, don't know when, what that will never happen. That's what I'm saying. When you say dismantle, dismantle what do you, what do you mean? Or dismantle the the idea of how the media run, runs now. Yeah. So dismantle. When I say dismantle, so right now in media, you have you have uh, liberal media, you have uh, conservative media. That's it, and that's only liberal is going to always kind of go to the side of democratic. Conservatives are always going to go to the side of Republican. And and at least in the eyes of what is seen as trusted media. Yeah. So when you have those two options. You're only going to be Democratic or you're only going to be conservative, conservative, which is going to be Republican. That's the only option American gives you to actually make your vote feel like it has something. Because people now say it where if you vote third party, you're wasting your vote. Like no. that's a that's a that's a common you know thing yeah, where people. That's what they always say. Because it will be it's, it's never a third party has never been. They blame third party for Hillary losing. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was that dude took like 2% of Florida. Yeah. 